we go. Welcome back to Full On Football with, of course, our special guest in the hot seat, our Victorian import, Lewis Brain, and, of course, uh, Croydon Kings coach, Paul Shillabier. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the teams that are in the Super League this year, because they have changed slightly. Um, so we'll just get a look at the, the screen there. We've got at, uh, Adelaide Blue Eagles there, of course, at the Marden Sports Complex at Marden, Adelaide City at Adelaide City Park at Oakden, Adelaide Galaxy at Con Macris Park at Nova Gardens, Campbelltown City at Newton Sports Village, Newton. Croydon Kings, the newly promoted side, which will be fantastic to watch them at Polonia Reserve at Croydon Park. Mobbury Jets at uh, Jet Park at Richhaven. North, e North Eastern Metro Stars at TK Shutter Reserve at Clemsic. Para Hills Knights at the Paddocks at Para Hills. Raiders at the Croatian Sports Centre at Jets Cross. And of course, White City Woodville down at Frank Mitchell Park at Woodville West. Um, we have got uh, a list of uh, some of the inns in some of these significant inns and of course with Blue Eagles we've got a list of about six or seven. Ricardo de Silva, Adam Carter, Fortunato, Folletti, so it's going to be interesting playing these guys, your old uh, guys from your teams. Alor Bulebeck from Cumberland, Costa Tursus, Dean Kenrick, Jason Delfos who has actually had a f couple of really great games and Jonathan Katsatsis. And then for Adelaide City uh, no real major ins, they've retained most of their side, but the biggest in would be uh, Christian Rees, uh, coming from Wellington, of course, playing for the um, A-League there, and he's been signed by Adelaide City, so uh, a top signing for them. Adelaide Galaxy has, well, it's basically a whole squad here. Uh, Di Giovanello, uh, Christofferson, Sean McGeevy, Dijan Markov, Greg Hagius, who we haven't seen uh, for a couple of years. He was with Cobra, so uh, it'd be great to see him. Daniel Carter, David Skull, Yannick Skull, Ryan Veach, uh, Antonio Saka and Joshua Berger from Adelaide Hills. And it's still going. Uh, uh, Andre Felix and Clinton Chart, and he's from the Amateurs. Then Campbelltown City, uh, at the moment, these are players that have actually signed, so they may have other guys on the books but haven't actually put pen to paper. And, of course, the biggest one is Michael Minichella, who left your old side, Modbury. Yes, yeah, I believe this uh, might be his last year, uh, speaking to him. And, obviously, he's a Camel man through and through, and he loves the club. Um, so, hopefully, you know, he can have a successful year, but not too successful year uh, with Campbelltown. <laughs> Definitely. And Croydon Kings, well, there's no surprise here. There are no major ins listed, but... Luckily, Paul was nice enough to tell us who he's had, so uh, very interesting to see how your team will go. <clears throat> I will ask you later, well, I'll ask you now, actually, what are your objectives for this season? Oh, look, it's not in my nature to say, oh, look, we just want to survive. I mean, we want to challenge as high as we can possibly get. I don't think any club goes into a league and, and has the opinion, well, let's just try and survive for the season and not get relegated. I mean, it's just a negative attitude to take in there. Um, we don't know a lot about the other teams. They don't know a lot about us. So it's, it's going to be, first half of the season is going to be interesting. Um, and I guess as we get along, we'll get a better picture of where we stand and uh, what we need to do to, to, to move things along. But um, certainly top five. I mean, it'd be silly to say anything else. Fantastic, yeah, that's that, that lo lovely little carrot dangling at the end, top five, which everybody's loving. Metro stars, some big names here, Adriano Pellegrino, Scott Tunbridge from Newcastle Jets would be one of the biggest signings there. Uh, Jim Stavridis, Michael Matriciani, uh, Lewis, of course, uh, Michael Peroni, Daniel Metchier, and uh, Corey Artoni, although he hasn't taken to the park as yet, has been training. Yes, he's been training uh, throughout pre-season. Uh, it's hard for him to, to juggle work at the moment. Um, he's played in a couple of games, um, so we're hoping that he can, you know, keep on training and, and stick with us, even if, uh, even if it is for as an impact player, those last 20 minutes to have Corey coming off the bench and can always create something for the team. Well, talking about impact players, we saw Michael Brooks doing that with Adelaide United in the inaugural season. He would coming on and he would be a match winner in many instances. So to have someone like Corey would be fantastic to see him back because he's just an awesome player. Uh, Mobbury Jets, uh, the only major ins we've got at the moment, Rocco Fermano and Michael Ball. Parry Hills Knights, uh, Michael Moroni. Now, obviously, this guy's from our AIS. He's a great player, really speedy down the wing. Fantastic guy. I'm really interested to see what he's going to come up with this year. 
Pasquale Barbaro, Stephen Ward, uh, Diane uh, Jasevic. <coughs> and then for Raiders, we've got Major Inns, uh, Mimi Sarik and uh, Stephen Peroni. White City Woodville, uh, Dimitri, uh, Dimitri Brinius, Sam Gounder, Angelo Arambatsis, so a couple there from Adelaide uh, Galaxy. Uh, John Spatharos, Charles Marway. Now he's was awesome for Mobbery in the back, and he's just doing the same with Raiders. Yes, uh, Charles, sorry, with White City. Yeah, Charles is a, a top player. He's consistent. You know what you're going to get out of him every week, and he's experienced as well. And uh, you know, there's not too many defenders that are around at the moment that uh, you can get that out of. You know, the consistency that you know what you're going to get out of him every week, and he'll do a great job for you. Mm, looking forward to see how how they blend in together. Also, uh, Matthew Fanto and Toby Nelson from Falcon Sea in Germany. So, um, <clears throat> an interesting mix of players there. Uh, a lot to come up against. Uh, both of you coming from different teams looking for uh, basically the same sort of objective to be successful in the season. Um, tough, I'm saying this is going to be a tough, tough league, this one. It's going to be very close. I mean, you look at uh, the teams that were competing last year, Adelaide City, yeah, Campbell Towns, um, and a few others around the mark. But this year, teams have, teams have signed a lot of players, and I think you're going to see it's, a lot, it's going to be a lot more even this year. And strikers, you mentioned you've got a couple of strikers there. Um, would be hoping to you know, get the, ball, uh, the, the goals rolling on, onto your, your table so you can have something to fall back on if you get into strife. Look, I think that's that's really important. Um, you know, obviously, as a, I guess I play as a defender, um, reasonably defensively modified, but uh, in the end, you've got to score goals to win games, uh, and and that's one thing we've been working at uh, most of the, the preseason. Um, we've got a, you know, the Yanni Saras scored a lot of goals in the state league, but this is a super league, you know, so there's a bit of pressure on him to to perform at this level. Um, he's aware of that and I, I can't fault the, the young boy's commitment to training and commitment to working hard at this stage. So, yeah, look, it's, it's going to be a very, very tough season, especially when you've got, you're talking about having two teams that are relegated this mm -hmm. year. Um, that's going to make it very difficult and it's going to be a fight from, from the beginning to the end, which, which is great for football. It is. And, I mean, you know, being a season with only 18 rounds, it doesn't leave you with uh, much uh, to play with because if you falter once or twice, I mean, that can be the whole season. Um, I'm looking at this is going to be a big season for goalkeepers because we've got quite a few guys that are able to score out, out front. Um, defenders, most of the defenders, defenders are very, very experienced. So, you know, if they can work out these strikers, you know, they might be able to curb them a little. But, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how this 2008 season unfolds, as, as I'm sure you guys will be. Yeah, I can't wait to get the, the season started, but uh, in saying I can't wait to get back playing again. But um, uh, I think Croydon are, are going to cause a, a few teams problems this year. They've got a couple of quick boys up front. Mm. And, um, we played them in the pre-season. They definitely they caused a, a bit of damage um, to us, so it's going to be interesting. And don't forget their back line. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. So um, uh, how far away are you from coming back? I'd like to say two weeks, but I think it may be pushed out to three weeks. Mm -hmm. And depending, it's just a it's just a healing thing. The body the body's just going to have to heal and um, take it slowly and come back. Groin injury is such a tricky thing, though. I mean, all all you have to do is lunge at a ball and then it's gone again. So yeah. you just got to really take it easy, don't you? Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, you know, we're talking about excitement here. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with the fixtures for the very first round of the 2008 FFSA men's season. So. Stick with us, because uh, you're watching Full On Football. Here we go.